What is good, Marble Squad? And welcome back to our channel. How's it going, everyone? I hope you guys are having a great day. We are having a great one as well because yesterday was actually our one, one year. year anniversary of moving down April to Florida. April 12th was the day. April 13th was our actual first full day because we didn't fly in here until late April 12th. And we are currently filming this on yeah. April 13th. So whenever you guys are watching this, we are filming it April 13th, which is the day after we moved down That's here. That's insane. It's one so crazy. Ago. Guys, it feels like we've lived here forever. I feel like Florida has really brought out the best versions of ourselves. I feel like we never even lived in Chicago. No, I like, know. Like, what is Chicago? Yeah, what is Chicago? I don't even know what it looks like anymore. Like, I haven't even been there for a year. But without you guys, we wouldn't be here. And we're just so thankful to be living here. And it's warm here all year round. And we're just, we're just blessed. We it's love crazy. It. So, a little life update with that. We love it here. You know, we don't regret moving here. This has definitely been one of the coolest experiences ever. Best so decision glad. of our lives, 100%. Yeah. People like our you know scared to move cross country because we did live in Illinois so do it while you're young do it because you will not do it when you're older every single person like older person parent grandparent that I talk to that lives in an area they wish they didn't live they wish when they were younger they just took the plunge and moved so, or experienced life if you have a gut feeling like oh could this be a place I want to live just go try it out even if it's only for like six months or two months it will be you, worth it it'll be worth it because you at least got to say you tried and if you don't like it, you can always move back home yeah but, you'll know at least if you like it or not yeah and we realized we love Florida and this is the greatest decision ever and I'm so glad we picked up and just left and not got scared or felt like you know we couldn't do it because yes. this is just amazing but Facts. preach by Mariah I need to go Cove. get some Starbucks to celebrate and if you're wondering why we have garbage here it's because we ran out of garbage bags so disregard the you know garbage the garbage right here that's not supposed to be there go get garbage bags too make sure you guys are following us on Instagram because we just did a poll on Instagram where Bill asked a story if he should shave his beard or keep it what what's your guys opinion first before i tell you the results if you don't follow us on instagram make sure to follow us because i include a lot of stuff that we put in our youtube videos on yeah. instagram like i asked you guys first but uh so if you guys want first peek first sneak peeks of stuff you guys gotta follow us because we share a lot of like sneak peeks of stuff but let's show them your beard do you like it honestly i'm actually starting to like it i it's really am it's really not bad but but Instagram where you guys voted shave it. Shave. It was 49% so, to 51. So literally one point difference, it would have been a tie. I'm actually going to shave it for a TikTok vlog. So if you guys want to see me shave his beard, um, follow us on TikTok. Follow us on TikTok. At Ryan though, because this shit's gonna look crazy. That's gonna look good. I hope I you, you better you better crazy. cut me up good. Not cut me up, but like I hope line I don't cut up. you. I'm a little nervous about that one. I might cut you. I'm like, zing. Don't say that, because I'm gonna think that you're going to. You're literally dealing with a razor. Also, guys. Can we just appreciate my lashes? Oh my I got God. a mega volume fill and I love them because I don't know I just like dramatic. I like dramatic. I think it looks good. I think that so look good. yeah And I did a full makeup glam today and I'm just I'm feeling good and look at babe my necklace says oh, bill on it Wow. Oh and follow oh, us on Instagram because today we just took Instagram pictures yes. that we're posting today We posted them for living it one year in Florida Insane. If you've seen this video make sure to go on our Instagram and comment on our recent post saying you came from this video Video, yes. and I want to shout a bunch of you guys out that do that so make sure to go on our Instagram right now before you watch the end of this video and comment on our recent post saying that you came from YouTube yes see you there so guys we are back with a mukbang from Mariah and Bill today Oh my Bill, god. Why you burp like Have that? we ever heard the Miss Mariah burp on camera? No, but I think that deserves a little repeat. Hold on. Can we play that again? Today. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, so I actually did a really good saying in the car today. She did not. Oh okay, my god. so I said This is what I have to do. One pink drink a day keeps the bitchiness away. Wow. That is so original, babe. That's good because that deserves they, a round of applause. They, gets me motivated, gets me pumped. This is what gets me going for the day. Not gonna lie, she is way more energetic and not as complicated of a person when she has her caffeine in her. So hey, shout out to Starbucks for making that happen. But recently me and Mariah have been eating a lot of salads lately. And today I am going with the Southwest chicken salad. And I am eating the summer salad. Look at how salad. freaking amazing these okay, are. Okay, um. These are legit, uh, like. I don't know about you guys, but I cannot stand feta cheese. I think feta cheese is disgusting. I think I it's think. good for the heart. Okay. Feta cheese, it depends on what you're eating it with. I feel like with a salad, you can't do that. How do you, no. Wait, no, don't, don't take it off completely. I have a half, 
Yeah, you wow, shake it. Wow, that smells good. I know. Look at this. We got some chicken, oh some rice and beans. Oh my gosh. Beans, so not rice. That Corn looks better than mine. I know. I told you. But you can't have any because I picked this out. Okay, I have a summer sale and I have my strawberries and my, my berry. I can't open this. Oh. I thought you had a hack. Well, I have a hack. How are you going to perform that hack if you can't open it? Okay, but you want to hear my hack? Yeah, you shake it while the, the thing's in there. Everyone knows that, okay? It's not a hack that you came up with. Wait, can you, it's this. Can you, can you rip that off? Ah! Uh, you do that, you just do that, babe. Bang. Oh, wait. Bang. Ow, that hurt. Okay, now it's time to take off the feta cheese. It's gonna take me a minute to take off. But, as you guys read by today's title, Bill is going to be talking to you guys about his one month update on his hair. The reason why you all clicked on this video is process. to see me and uh, if everything turned out great or if the surgery was effective or not effective. And I'm gonna be showing you a close up of my head literally any minute now and let me just say going from one month yesterday was not only our one year moving down to florida but it was also my one month post surgery which means after surgery it's been one month and one day so far insane. let me just start off by showing you guys my suture line and if you don't know what that means i had some wacky scars i don't know why you guys always ask him why he still wears a hat i even tell him like i didn't put product in it and don't judge all right show him the back of my head this is this is where i had 50 stitches put in it looks amazing we'll show you guys a little bit here's a before and then here's an after so bill actually needs another haircut his hair it's just crazy how ba the back of his head grows but yeah that's what it looks like now it honestly looks really good compared to looking like frankenstein i would rather deal with this than anything else and my scarring is gonna get way better and it's gonna look way more nonchalant like you're not really gonna notice it as much so if you guys are new to the channel or new to what's going on bill's gonna explain it from head to toe basically head to yeah whatever that means <laughs> so i guess we're gonna start off from the beginning i got what is called a hair transplant surgery which is where they take hair from the back of your head and they implant it in the front of the head and the reason why they do this is for people that are balding you can have this procedure done and it stops the balding and it, and it fills in and it makes you look like you have a full head of hair again because it literally is real it's your hair jeez this thing is thick look at how thick I'm trying to dump it in and it's barely oh my, going. That looks oh. It's barely going. That, like I'm, that's like. I take a check share that with you. Yeah, I'll give you a little bit of this. That looks honestly better than mine. See so yeah, ya guys. Life hack if you don't already know this. Some pico de gallo. Put the salad dressing in first, then just Bam. shake, 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 shake. Yeah, shake, if, you, shake, shake. if you didn't know shake that. Your booty. I think you're supposed to, aren't you supposed to mix it? Oh wait, I'm gonna put lime all over it too. Oh, Bill's got the best salad. Look at that. Wow, Woo! oh my, I'm low key jealous. I'd rather have it's that a than freaking this party up in here. This is dead ass like eating like a taco. Yeah it is. Without but... the shell. Oh, before you do this, make sure you have the lid on all the way. Otherwise, you learn from experience, it'll explode everywhere. So anyways, I got this surgery done and I'll, we're gonna show you some pretty, not graphic pictures, but some pretty like crazy pictures. So if you guys don't wanna see stitches or anything, just skip this part of the video and watch the end. So this is a picture of me before surgery. This is why I went to get it done. I obviously was balding. You can see I had a lot of receding on both sides and it was only gonna get worse the older I get, especially cause I'm, I'm literally almost 22 and it's already, you know, kind of that bad. That's the main reason why I wanted to get this done. Balding runs in my family. My dad has it. My grandpa has it. Yada, yada, yada. I'm sure my great grandpa had it. Your great, 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 My great, 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 great grandpa. Yeah. So it stops now. I'm getting it surgically corrected. And that is the reason why. During the procedure, it wasn't, it didn't hurt at all. The only thing that hurt was when they had to numb me, they had to poke my head. Like imagine getting poked like a hundred times mm -hmm. with like a, a, like a flu shot, but like in your head, like it literally felt like a little sting every single time. That was the only uncomfortable part. But after it got all numb, and the meds went to an effect. I didn't feel anything during the surgery or after, like for the weeks following, the, the numbing stuff was so strong that it just, it kept me from not having pain at all. The next picture right here is a picture of me after surgery, and we actually filmed the TikTok, which you can go on our TikTok and see my whole hair journey. Oh, yeah. But literally I had like, a thousand of these like red dots, not a thousand, but a couple hundred of these red dots implanted in my head. Every single one of those red dots was physically poked in my head and they're 
hair follicles. Each one of them are oh, multiple hair follicles. Some of them have five in it, some of them have two. Look at my, my hairs are up. And that basically plants them in there so they can start growing. And literally if I looked over, they could have fell out because they were just placed in there. A couple days later, they became more solid. And then I think day four is when I first washed my head. We have a TikTok vlog, I'm washing my hair, which everyone freaking loved seeing like, I literally had to wash it so delicately with water and baby soap. Otherwise, my hair follicles would have fell out. Ew. So then two weeks later, my hair started growing and it, was, it actually got to a good length. It got to like that long. And I was like, oh, this is awesome. But they said that your hair's all gonna fall out and regrow. All the implants. All the implants, every single graft, they call them, that they planted in my head, all gonna fall out. And then they basically plant the seed for the new hair to grow. So that happened about like three weeks in. And since I'm a month in now, I have had no hair growth yet. Do you wanna show them? I'm gonna show you right now. I have had no hair growth. I don't Which have- Which is normal, guys. Yeah. It takes- You have to trust the process, yeah. okay? I'm not gonna freak out and think that I'm never gonna grow hair. Because will. it will grow. But I'm gonna show you guys, there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. There might be a few follicles left that haven't fallen out, but- are you guys ready? This is what it looks like right now, one month and one day after surgery. So yeah, guys. As you can see, all- Oh, wait. What? It's not growing. You can see the dots, though, where they planted yeah. it. Yeah. So you can see my hairline. My new hairline, you can see all of the dots where my hair is gonna grow, but there's no hair there yet. The hair in the middle is hair that I've already had, so that's like original hair that- wasn't balding yet. So yeah, you guys can see it's so cool because Bill never had a hairline before. So yeah, kinda... actually you could see it. Yeah, see my hairline all right here. Yeah. It literally went like this. That wasn't there and that wasn't there. It was only the hair in the middle. So now all the hair is gonna grow back. And I'm also, these red dots, they're not pimples. They're actually ingrown hairs. Ew because I'm gonna get a lot of ingrown hairs since the hair is growing out for the first time. It doesn't really have a direction to How go. How do you get the ingrown hair out? You don't. You have to massage it and just let it mm. make its way. Okay. Otherwise you can like ruin the follicle. Okay. So fast forwarding to here, as you can see, like my hair hasn't grown in at all yet. And she said it's gonna take, it could take up to four months for it all to start growing and it's all gonna grow in unevenly. At We're gonna rates. give you guys a six month update because I feel like then maybe- I think I'm gonna have like a buzz cut. Yeah. Oh my God. Dude, that's gonna be crazy. You guys are literally gonna see the journey. If you're not part of our channel yet and you haven't subscribed, make sure to go down and hit that subscribe button. Follow us on Instagram and keep up with our lives because not only do we post fun vlogs, pranks, challenges, we but have so much coming. Ahead. You can also There's see so much more coming. my whole hair growth. And one year from now, I cannot wait. I'm gonna put this in our video because right now I'm completely bald of all the hair that they implanted. And I bet you one year from now, I'm literally gonna have a little flow going. You are. And it's gonna be so Ooh. good. I cannot wait to see what my future self looks like. Yeah, like me too. I literally cannot wait. It's gonna be crazy. We're gonna look back at this video and be like, wow, Bill, like that's what you used to look like. Nothing bad with how you look now. Like you look amazing, but I just I'm excited no, to kind of see like what it looks like. It's literally gonna be like full. Like I'm yeah. gonna have hair for the first time in my life. Because that's why I style it over, is because I can't go swimming without my hair going back and it just all it looks like really thin and uneven. Bill's gonna be saying goodbye to the hat soon. Oh my god. Hopefully. I cannot I can't wait to stop wearing hats, but for now I just wear it because it keeps my hair in place and I don't want to put a lot of product in my hair so the chemicals don't mess with the actual growth, you know, that they, they implanted. Mm -hmm. But all in all, it's been an amazing process. It sucked sleeping for a couple nights because I had to sleep sitting up with a neck rest. And away from me for like oh Yeah, I slept on the couch. Mariah was in the room. The first night I slept in the room, it was just so, too uncomfortable, I couldn't do it. But that was honestly the worst part about this whole procedure. Other than that, like I would do it again if I didn't do it yet, I would do it in a heartbeat. Just because like it, I know it's life changing and I know when I have a full head of hair, like I'm it's literally, gonna be so I'm gonna be like, in, I'm gonna be the happiest I've ever been. Yeah, you are. It's gonna be feeling good, letting the hair. Blowing blow in the, the wind. Waves. I could roll down the car windows without wearing a hat and just let it, just flow. Let it, just let it flow. Riding a convertible without <laughs> having to like, you know, ride on a jet ski without having oh to wear a hat. Gosh. Like there's so many different things that I can do, which I can do now, but like I just, my hair doesn't look good when it's back. That's okay. That's your, you know, you're not as confident with that, but you're gonna gain the confidence soon. So yeah. I'm excited. No, it's, it's literally gonna be life changing. And my family is all on board. Like they're so happy for me. 
mm-hmm. everyone in my family and every everyone that we see like in public all of you guys that we see in public you guys are always like congrats on like the hair like I can't wait to see you know it grow mm-hmm. in like so many people are just so positive and literally like I we love you guys for that because I feel like our Marble squad is one of the most positive squads that was my phone out there and you guys are just so supportive like We're if you thankful. see us in public you guys are so positive like literally it's like always positive and we love that we're so thankful Mm -hmm. which is also why we wanted to do a one month update for everyone that was wondering so yes if you are wondering i am bald right now all the hair is gone but you will see growth soon and we'll show you as we do it but the next dedicated video will probably do a six month update yeah because that's when you're going to be seeing some growth or, or a year. year. Yeah. Either way, I, I hope in six months it looks like this. It will. I wish my hair grew as much as this grows because <laughs> it would be so much better. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, like I said, subscribe if you haven't. And follow us on Instagram. So when we do ask you questions and we want you to be incorporated into our lives and what we do, we ask polls on our Instagram all the time. We want you to be part of it. So follow us on Instagram. Like I said earlier, comment on our recent post that you came from this YouTube mm-hmm. video. And I think that's it, right? I think that's, I think that sums up basically everything today. Yeah, there's the one month hair update, or the no hair update, we should call it. One month no hair update. No hair update, but it's, it's, you gotta trust the process. It's honestly gonna be the coolest thing I know, I'm having faith in the doctor's words, okay? You have to have a lot of faith, (laughs) because it's long gone. It's gonna grow back, guys. It's tweaking, tweaking. But thank you so much for watching this video. We will see you you in the next video, but until then. Peace, peace. love Love you guys. guys.